Hey y'all, welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. I am excited to present you with another June Soulmate Love reading. So this is a bonus message. I got some additional messages that I picked up previous to me getting into the rest of the placements. Just taking a look at your energy and whoever this new love interest is. I do want to make a disclaimer that um, I only focused on energies of those of you who are interested in welcoming new love into your life and this is going to be a brand new person so no one who you've ever dealt with in this lifetime okay so um i'm gonna go ahead and get started with your energy and the notes that i have for you and then we'll take a look at your love interests headspace and energy and the notes i have for them so we have you all coming up with the king of wands energy i was getting very strongly that this could be pertaining to those of you who are male okay so this is going to resonate to male energy over here and those of you who are interested in new love have your eye on someone i was picking up the zodiac sign strongly for sun sign could be gemini or leo individuals but you also could have these um placements other um, positions in your birth chart I also was picking up Aquarius, Pisces, Leo Moon, Venus, and Chiron in the same sign. It could be specifically Venus and Chiron in Gemini. And then I also was picking up Ascendant Gemini placement. So this may resonate for some of you all. Um, now, the other energy I was picking up as far as just your energy, I, I was getting like father energy. So some of you may be fathers or there could be something very significant going on with Father's Day for you or around the subject of Father's Day or about fatherhood. I also was picking up that you all have your eyes on a new lover. Um, you all are looking at this new love interest as either you're wanting to be this individual's boyfriend or you're seeing this person as someone who you want to be your boyfriend so with that being said for some of you this is going to be a male who's attracted to another male in some instances and then for others of you this is a male who is looking at a female that they're interested in and wanting to be her boyfriend right um, I also was picking up strong baby fever energy around you all. Um, and then there's also an energy of something pertaining to shared resources and finances and like intimacy that may be coming back around for you to look into or something that you're needing to address or revisit. Okay, so this could be like a topic that maybe you've been trying to avoid or just a topic that you don't really like to talk about pertaining to that field that area okay now with your love interest we have them coming up with the queen of pentacles i was picking up this person could be a gemini well they could have gemini placements okay um, I was getting a lot of dual energy around this individual, so they could have a lot of Gemini placements, um, or they could act very much like a Gemini type of person. Um, I was also picking up the energies of Taurus, Libra, and Sagittarius that could be placements for this individual as well. For some of you, this could be one person. For some of you, this could be multiple people, okay? Now, as far as the energy around this person, um, I also was picking up father energy. So that's why I was saying for some of you, this is going to be another male, okay, um, that you have interest in. For others of you, this person um, is someone that's viewing you as well as a prospective new lover. They're either aware that you're a father or they're looking at you as someone who they would want to have kids with um i feel they're seeing you as boyfriend material as well too or considering or already picturing you being their boyfriend um for some of you this could be an ex-girlfriend <laughs> of another relative of yours um that's what i was picking up and then for others of you as well too um 
there's something significant about this individual and their if this person was previously married about their ex-husband having a baby so for whatever reason that came up that may be relevant um for you all i also was picking up with this side's energy that there is very strong feminine masculine energy that was coming through so that's why i said as well too this person could have you know significant gemini placements or they could act like a gemini individual but this person is exuding um a lot of feminine masculine energy um i also was getting that this person could be bisexual so it could be a bisexual male or a bisexual female um this could be someone who has multiple love interests this could be a straight female that exudes a very well strong balance between her um feminine and her masculine quality so back to that dual energy that i was telling you about um which really aligns if this person definitely has you know gemini placements sagittarius placements even libra placements which i stated earlier um this person could have multiple love interests and this person could just get a lot of attention is what i'm saying so this person um could have lots of people who are interested in them now let's say this person is a straight female well she has males and females that are romantically interested in her okay but even if this is a, a male who is bisexual or a male who likes the same sex and regardless of whatever you know his sexual statuses that he considers he has males and females that are attracted to him um for others of you this could be a female that is just very comfortable exuding her exuding and expressing her sense of sexuality so what i was picking up was she could be someone who you know sees the beauty in men and women she may not necessarily be attracted to women but she could be someone who like appreciates and can compliment other beautiful and gorgeous women so she is very confident in her skin like she's not intimidated or afraid to you know empower another woman and make another woman feel sexy or confident because she's very confident herself so that could be the case as well too um i was hearing sexually fluid so for some of you this could be someone who's sexually fluid um you could look that up to figure out you know more specifically what that entails because i honestly i don't know um this also could be for some of you like i said this could be multiple people so for some of you this is one person who could be embodying you know some of or one or some of those energies that i was talking about for others of you this is just multiple people so i'm just picking up on all of the different aspects coming through and then also what i was picking up with this person was that this person is some type of healer they work in a healing industry or um this person is working in some type of career field where they provide some type of service because the thing is there's a lot of energy around this person this person gets a lot of attention they have a lot of people around them okay so that's that about that's just the pre-messages that i was getting first and foremost between the two of you now let's get into the reading so for you all with this king of wands energy i heard puzzled I was getting a puzzled energy around you all so i feel like you're looking at this individual and this person like makes you very intrigued because it, it, it almost seems like maybe you can't pin this pinpoint this person or can't really figure this person out now for some of you that could be because with that sexual energy you're just not quite sure what this person is interested in right um so that could be something for some for some of you but for others of you like i said this could just be because maybe this person does have like dual energy that they work with or like i said some type of um gemini placements that makes this person kind of um spontaneous and sporadic so it's kind of hard to pinpoint this individual but i see you being very strongly intrigued 
attracted to this person there was something about your hands that was sticking up so maybe for some of you you could work with your hands um because your hands were sticking up i was also getting very attractive energy with you all so you could be very handsome as well too very sexy um you could feel this way about yourself but i also feel this is like like outwardly recognized by other people they appreciate your attractiveness so you could have a lot of people who compliment you and tell you how good looking you are but i see a lot of you could take a great sense of pride in your i'm hearing your well-being but how you look though especially um especially those of you you know that you have leo i would definitely see that being something that aligns with that for you all but um yeah i feel like some of you are wanting to take some type of action and initiative towards this person but i feel like i'm hearing perplexed now but there's just something that like you're trying to figure out going back to what i said earlier about the baby fever energy i also feel like some of you are trying to like um figure out like what this person is interested in this person um what they like how you can get close to this person um I just feel there's a lot of strategizing around you and your energy before you make a move towards this person like it's almost like a very slow methodical type of energy that you're giving me but I feel like you're very interested you're going to <laughs> I'm here strike you're going to make a move on this person but I feel like you're trying to like gather as much information as possible and I feel like you're also just trying to make it so that like this person doesn't like turn you down um, I feel like for some of you going back to the baby fever energy like i was tr um about to say some of you are really strongly um i'm hearing infatuated with this person but you could be really strongly interested in like locking this person down and starting a family with this person um so i almost feel like this person is like the end goal they may not know this yet but you in your mind have already like kind of planned i'm hearing pre-planned you've already kind of like pre-planned everything out like you see yourself being with this person having a family with this person settling down with this person so um it seems like a lot of you are kind of like long term long long term oriented when it comes to this specific person um or one of the people out of these many people who you're interested in um if you haven't selected and if this is many people for some of you but for others of you where this is just one person it seems like you definitely have pinpointed that um you see yourself being with this person yeah i'm getting something about your skin so there's something about your skin or there's something about your hands maybe you take really good care of your skin or you take really good care of your hands maybe some of you like to get manicures i'm hearing pedicures so some of you could be very well groomed or very much into like <laughs> i'm hearing manscaping <laughs> so some of you could be um really into like keeping your appearance up um because it's just something kind of like i'm getting like flawless about your your presence so you could just be very well into like grooming yourself and like upkeeping yourself or pampering and treating yourself um yeah i'm hearing like fine finer finer things so you could really like the finer things in life now I'm hearing indulge so you could like to indulge in the finer things in life um okay yeah okay so with your love interest over here we have the queen of pentacles so this person like I said um she is very attractive herself she has a lot of individuals she could be very like goal oriented and business oriented especially right now um there's a lot of people energy around her like i said it's either because she has a lot of people romantically attracted to her she could have a lot of people who depend on her um she could have a lot of people who she nurtures or provides for um a lot of people who just rely on her for some type of something that she has um even if this is just business wise maybe there's just a lot of people that kind of um depend on her i'm also hearing leech so she could have people who leech on her as well too um but i'm hearing she's strong she's strong and she's abundant is what i'm hearing and i'm hearing fruitful 
it's, she could be someone who wants to be a mother or she is a mother so she so that could be something that's very strong in her energy as well too she could be wanting to um wanting to have children or she could have children already so this could be someone who is a mother okay or she is looked at as a, like a mothering fee, uh, a mothering figure so that could be why a lot of people gravitate towards this individual as well too yeah I'm hearing motherly quality Even though this person is coming up with the Queen of Pentacles, besides like the Taurus energy that I was picking up in this person's birth chart, I'm not really getting that this person is an Earth sign, but that's just interesting. I just feel like this is the energy that this person is operating in. So this person could just be all about their business or all about money or all about like stability or security or something right now. But I'm hearing there's like abundance and growth around this individual. Um, okay, let's take a look at how you're viewing this person. We have the Eight of Cups. Now with this energy, what also came out earlier in the message for you all was a grandmother was here. So some of you may have all lost a grandmother who you were very close to. And I feel like this grandmother has, um, she's deceased. But she's been helping to guide you towards new love or specifically towards this person okay so that is a message for some of you that may resonate for others of you how you're viewing this person i feel like for some of you you may be leaving behind someone who does have significant gemini leo or capricorn placements for this person that was also um in the notes from that i um got prior to like prior to starting the reading um that I wrote down for you all um yeah so I see that's what it is I see you walking towards this individual you're seeing this person as someone who you want to go towards so you may be leaving someone behind leaving a location behind or leaving some aspect that of yourself behind to go towards this person because you're seeing this person as wish fulfillment i feel like you're trusting your intuition to move towards this individual and some of you your intuition is being like um guided as well too by like i said this grandmother energy that i'm picking up i was also getting that some of you could kind of have like um what's the best way for me to say it i i was getting witchy okay so some of y'all males are like got witchy vibes is what i'm picking up so however that resonates for you that's what it is some of you yeah that's what i was picking up for you okay um how this person is viewing you we have the six of wands Ooh, attractive so this person see you as an attractive authoritative figure okay you could get a lot of <laughs> you could get a lot of attention from a lot of individuals okay you could be well known you could be well respected you could hold some type of position of honor or status is how this person is seeing you yeah i'm, I'm hearing bow down so there could be people who bow down to you is how this person is seeing you so you could walk in a room and and people like <laughs> they may bow to you literally they may kneel or this is just the energy that you exude it just is it's very um potent or powerful that people just really um respect you okay i'm hearing tremble as well too <laughs> So I guess when some of y'all walk in the room, you make people tremble. I don't know if that's good or bad. Like if they're trembling because they're excited to see you or, or if they're trembling because they're nervous to see you, like they're scared of you. But regardless, I'm hearing tremble. So however that resonates for you. Interesting. Um, 
whoever this person is that you're interested in I don't really feel like they're phased by whatever this status is that you have because it seems like you're trying to you're trying to figure out how to get this person's attention because I don't know I just feel like this person is not really phased or moved by your status not in a disrespectful way I just think that maybe they just don't um I just don't see them having the same type of energy as these other people around you so this person seems to just be very confident in their own right as well too um I feel like this person respects your energy but I don't feel like they're like they're not intimidated by you because that could be what I'm feeling with these other people how this person sees these other people around you these other people could potentially be intimidated by you and I don't feel like whoever this love interest is I don't think this person is intimidated by you I feel like this person like can look you eye to eye is what I'm getting But I'm thinking like this person could see you as maybe like a match. Mm. This person could see you as like a match or just someone who they could see themselves uh, being in a relationship with. Because I'm seeing you come up with the king of wands. You're hella attracted to this person. This person is attracted to you as well too and then there's something about this person I feel like this person may potentially see long term with you as well too is what I'm picking up for some of you so this person could see themselves as potentially wanting to like be your wife is what I'm seeing so let's take a look at what's blocking you too okay What's blocking you? We have the Seven of Wands. Let's see what's blocking your love interest. Okay, we got the Free Will card over here. Free Will. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Okay, so what's blocking this person? I feel like, I mean, when it comes to you, what's blocking you? there's something about you and you having options okay that's what i'm picking with this seven of wands like it's almost like you have options so i guess that's what's blocking you like you're you're sitting on your throne like hmm <laughs> am i gonna wipe this one up because you know so many people want me type of energy and I don't know maybe some of you could be full of yourselves is what I'm getting maybe some of you could be full of yourselves because you get so much attention so maybe for some of you this goes to your head um, or some of you could just be very picky as well too so that could be the thing as well too you could be very picky and not let a lot of people get close to you because there could be a lot of people that just want to get close to you maybe because of whatever you do your status your position your reputation whatever this is that you have over here that makes these other people you know act this way towards you um you could be very like hesitant and guarded to like let people get close to you because i'm seeing you like kind of keep yourself separated from other people um you don't really like let a lot of people get close to you is what i'm getting so that could be that as well too you could just have a very strong defense mechanism um and you could just be kind of wary about people getting close to you because maybe people try to get close to you because of whatever this is that you have right um with your love interest what's blocking them um i really don't see anything too much blocking this person is they have the free will card so they have the free will to just choose to be with you or not be with you I just kind of feel like this person kind of really has like a nonchalant attitude like they can kind of take you or leave you like they're gonna be fine either way I th it's almost like a either way I'm good type of energy is what I'm getting so it's not really like 
I don't know I don't really see this person being pressed um that's what I'm saying like this person doesn't really seem to be phased by whatever you do whoever you are or whatever this is with this six of wands energy representing like some type of um status that you have so I just feel like this person is not phased by all of that so either way yeah I just feel like that's I, I guess it's coming up as a blockage I'm not quite sure what let me see why is this coming up um okay I think because this person has been through some major transformation in their life so this person is very like confident within themselves um so that's what i'm picking up like this this person has been through something like major i'm hearing like a major revelation and just a major transformation in their life in general so this person is just literally like they know that they can this person is abundant okay and they know that they are so and this person potentially has a lot of people after them as well too in the sense of who is romantically interested in them i feel like the two of you kind of have that similar but i'm not necessarily seeing like the same type of status around this person as you have so this person gets a lot of attention there's a lot of people that need this person there's a lot of people that depend on this person but it's like in a different way than why these people are attracted to you you get what I mean so if that makes sense it'll make sense you know who you are whoever you are you know who this is <laughs> you, you know what this is so the reason why people are attracted to this person the reason why people are attracted to you are different however both of you still attract a lot of people okay so this person feels like this person could have a free spirit type of energy or nature but I just feel this person is just they feel they have the ability to do whatever they want to do that's just what I'm getting like they're not they're not going to be blocked they're not going to be hindered they're not going to be pressed they're not going to um yeah they're just not gonna I don't know I guess they're just not playing into whatever other people are doing so I'm just seeing this person just, they, yeah, they have free will. That's what's blocking them. So they either can say, yeah, I want to move forward with this person or no, I don't. Like, I don't think this person really cares either way. It's not, it's not that deep for this person. Like maybe who these, these other people over here that are blocking, that's a blockage to you that you have to fight off. Like these people need you. They're codependent on you. I don't get this energy around this person. This person is not necessarily like codependent in that nature of like like they have to or they need you or they're trying to um like put on you know a certain type of facade to be with you or something like that like this person is just like they're comfortable with who they are they're good in their skin and they're just like they're good you know they're carefree they're good they're enjoying life they're chilling so the action that you want to take towards this person we have the four of pentacles okay Hmm. and then the action this person wants to take towards you we have the eight of wands all right um let me see i feel like for some of y'all some of y'all the action y'all gonna take y'all gonna s hold back from this person is what i'm seeing like you're not gonna open up you're not gonna share your feelings with this person i'm hearing stuck i don't know why you're stuck but like some of maybe some of you're just stubborn so that's why you're stuck and you won't open up and share your feelings with this person that's okay so you're up in your head that's why you're stuck because this person makes your mind go crazy <laughs> makes you this person could be like on your mind a lot it could be driving you crazy and because you're so attracted to this person because i did hear infatuated earlier because you're so attracted to this person this could scare you because like i said maybe some of you have some type of rank status position whatever this is that is i don't know what you call it 
and you get a lot of, t- of attention you have a lot of people who want you or like I said they bow down they tremble they kneel whatever this is towards you however whoever this individual is this person they're not like that so they could be different than maybe the type of people who you've attracted to you before this could be driving you crazy because maybe you don't understand why this person isn't acting that way towards you or maybe it's like just kind of mind baffling at the same time because it's like you're kind of stuck in your head like well how do I know this person is not like other people but then I'm really attracted to this person but I don't know I just feel like you're having like 50 million thoughts and you're kind of like stressing yourself out about this situation yeah you're it's like exhausting you're exhausting yourself so because you're exhausting your own self you're just holding back and not sharing for some of you for others of you I do feel the action you're wanting to take it's like you're wanting to you're wanting to lock this person down that's what I was getting so some of you are wanting to take action to lock this person down now for others of you where you're just mentally up in your head about it I mean like that could be the steps that you maybe eventually get over yourselves and end up doing but I'm seeing it kind of being torn between some of you are just gonna hold back and then others of you are actually going to move towards this person to like um secure like you want to secure this connection you want to secure the relationship you want to um you want this person close to you you know you you don't want anyone else to um get this person because you see this person is a quality individual like this person is coming up with wife energy or you know spouse energy so that's what i'm seeing um as far as the action that this person wants to take towards you i just feel like um whatever this is like this could be communication um with you that this person wants to have let's see okay this person yeah they want to clear some things up with you so this person could want to talk to you about something there's something this person needs to talk to you about and clear things up so that's it this person may be wanting to talk to you so maybe this person just wants to get some type of understanding with you um because this person seems to be up in their head as well too they're getting the nine of swords as well too so the, the two of you could very well be feeling the same way up in your heads about each other or there could just be things that the two of you need to discuss with each other um i feel like you and this person could be kind of similar but like i said in different aspects which is interesting yeah i'm getting some type of similar energy between the two of you there could be like power struggle or well not a struggle but like both of you seem to be very like powerful in your own right so maybe that could be the thing like the two of you are kind of like not bumping heads but it's like it's like the two of you are not wanting to back down maybe you're so used to dealing with people who are like very submissive and just throw themselves at you all is what i'm picking up and then this person is just very strong within themselves so they're just not like that like i don't feel this person is playing hard to get i just feel this person is guarded themselves like i feel like the two of you both have like defensive energies because of things that you've went through in the past so the two of you could be like it's like your energies are very strong i feel like once you get past this like (laughs) i'm hearing like knucklehead (laughs) once y'all get past this energy so it's like a stubborn energy that's because it's kind of like like that once y'all get past that energy i feel like the two of you will do fine but it's like the initial stages of like getting to know each other or letting your guards down it's like both of you are kind of like similar um yeah interesting so 
let's look at the action or what will happen if the two of you take the actions that you take and what it's going to lead to the best potential outcome so we have the four of cups energy here Ooh. all right so for some of y'all y'all gonna miss out on this person i'm just gonna be honest those of you who looks like y'all hold back y'all gonna miss out on this opportunity because like i said this person already has this like very nonchalant i don't give a type of attitude so this person can take you or leave you so i guess if this is coming off as to this individual like you're trying to play some games with them because you're holding back like they can tell you're interested but then you're trying to hold back then this person may take that as like you don't you're not interested in them and they they're going to keep it moving and some of y'all going to miss out on this opportunity right that's what i'm getting um for others of you i'm hearing circling back so for others of you where you're going to go ahead and solidify and secure this connection i feel like this is like you're circling back towards this person so maybe there was an, a previous opportunity that you missed or you didn't take advantage of to um, get to know this person or to show that you were interested in this person and those of you um, who missed that first opportunity or however many other times you missed you know you and this individual um, moving forward or you approaching this person to let them know that you were actually interested in them I see that you're going to actually move forward and extend an offer to this individual this time so those are all the messages that I have for you all um, I hope you enjoyed this reading I enjoyed it I had a lot of interesting messages come through in this reading um, crazy but fun and just interesting just different um, also I just want to say um, one last thing it seems like Father's Day may be very significant in this situation so I'm not quite sure how that's playing out for you all but that might be something that um, is very significant in this situation. Like that father energy was coming up very strong. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoy this. And if you would like to book a private session with me, my website is www.divinelotustarot.com.